I'm here today to discuss all about prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In this discussion, you will learn how eukaryotes differ from prokaryotes and also what is the similarities of these two. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's define first what is prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes. A prokaryote is a unicellular organism that lacks a membrane-bound nucleus, mitochondria, or any other membrane-bound organelle. Bacteria are classified as prokaryotes, along with another group of single-celled organisms, the archaea. Prokaryotes are tiny, but in a very real sense. They dominate the earth. They live nearly everywhere, on every surface, on land, and in water, and even inside of our bodies. Prokaryotes are microscopic organisms belonging to the domains bacteria and archaea, which are two out of the three major domains of life. Bacteria and archaea are single-celled, while most eukaryotes are multicellular. Fossils show that prokaryotes were already here on Earth 5 billion years ago, and scientists think that prokaryotic ancestors gave rise to all of the life forms present on Earth today. Now, what is eukaryotes? A eukaryote is any organism whose cells have a cell nucleus and other organelles enclosed within membranes. Eukaryotic cells is the more complex cells that make up plants, fungi, and animals will find that they're a definite step upward in the real estate market. Just as a large family home is split into many rooms with different purposes, so eukaryotic cells contain a variety of different compartments with specialized functions, neatly separated from one another by layers of membrane. This organization lets each compartment maintain its own conditions, the ones it needs to carry out its job. Both prokaryotes and eukaryotes have their own similarities and differences in terms of uses, functions, and parts. Similarities of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The first one is cell membrane. Both have this lipid bilayer, which is an arrangement of phospholipids and proteins that acts as a selective barrier between the internal and external environment of the cell. Due to this, it is necessary for the selective import and export of compounds. The second one, which is the genetic material, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells both have DNA as the basis for their genes. This genetic material needed to regulate cell function and encodes the information which is passed on to progeny. Ribosomes. Both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells have ribosomes to produce protein for the cells. The next one, cytoplasm. In eukaryotic cells, the cytoplasm is everything between the plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope. In prokaryotes, cytoplasm encompasses everything within the plasma membrane. The cytosol is one major component of the cytoplasm in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. This solution contains numerous ions, molecules, and organelles. Therefore, it is also the site of many metabolic reactions, such as protein synthesis. In eukaryotes, the cytoskeleton is also part of the cytoplasm. So now let's talk about the differences of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Cell size. Eukaryotic cells are ordinarily larger than prokaryotic cells, as you can see here in the picture. Cell arrangement. Eukaryotes are often multicellular, whereas prokaryotes are unicellular. There are, however, some exceptions. Unicellular eukaryotes include amoebas, paramecium, and yeast. The third one, the true membrane-bound nucleus. Eukaryotic cells have a true nucleus bound by a double membrane. It contains the DNA-related functions of the large cell in a smaller enclosure 
to ensure close proximity of materials and increased efficiency for cellular communication and functions. In contrast, the smaller prokaryotic cells have no nucleus. The materials are already fairly close to each other and there is only a nucleoid which is the central open region of the cell where the DNA is located. The DNA structure. Eukaryotic DNA is linear and complex with packaging proteins called histones before organization into a number of chromosomes. While prokaryotic DNA is circular and is neither associated with histones nor organized into chromosomes, a prokaryotic cell is simpler and requires far fewer genes to function than the eukaryotic cell. Therefore, it contains only one circular DNA molecule and various smaller DNA circlets or the plasmids. The fifth one, membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells contain many membrane-enclosed, large, complex organelles in the cytoplasm, whereas prokaryotic cells do not contain these membrane-bound organelles. This is a key difference because it allows a high level of intracellular division of labor and contributes to the greater complexity characteristics of eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes differ in their ribosome sizes. Both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells contain many ribosomes. However, the ribosomes of the eukaryotic cells are larger than prokaryotic ribosomes. Eukaryotic ribosomes also show more complexity than prokaryotic. They are constructed of five kinds of ribosomal RNA and about 80 kinds of proteins. In contrast, Prokaryotic ribosomes are composed of only three kinds of RNA and about 50 kinds of protein. Cytoskeleton. This is a multi-component system in eukaryotes composed of microtubules, actin filaments, and intermediate filaments. It is required for maintaining cell shape, providing internal organization and mechanical support. It is also paramount in movement and cell division. Sexual reproduction. Most eukaryotes undergo sexual reproduction while prokaryotes reproduce asexually. Sexual reproduction in eukaryotes results in offspring with the genetic material, which is a mixture of the parent's genome. And during this process, genetic variation is generated via sexual recombination. On the other hand, a prokaryote will reproduce clones of itself via binary fission and relies more on horizontal genetic transfer for variation. The last one, which is the cell division. This occurs by mitosis for eukaryotic cells and binary fission for prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells undergo mitosis, then cytokinesis. This involves numerous stages. The nuclear membrane disintegrates, then the chromosomes are sorted and separated to ensure that each daughter cell receives two sets, or a diploid number, of chromosomes. In contrast, prokaryotes undergo a simpler process of binary fission. This is faster than mitosis and involves DNA replication, chromosomal segregation, and ultimately cell separation into two daughter cells genetically identical to the parent cell. Unlike mitosis, this process does not involve the nuclear envelope and centromere and spindle formation.